Sociobiology, The New Synthesis, authored by Edward O. Wilson is a seminal work that has significantly contributed to our understanding of the interplay between biology and social behavior. In this book, Wilson presents a comprehensive framework for exploring the biological basis of social behaviors across species. Through a rigorous analysis of genetics, evolution, and animal behavior, Wilson highlights the connections between individual and group fitness, shedding light on the evolutionary origins of societal structures and behaviors. Wilson's work introduces the concept of sociobiology, a multidisciplinary field that examines the genetic and evolutionary factors underlying social behaviors. He argues that social behaviors, such as cooperation, aggression, and altruism, can be understood through an evolutionary lens. Wilson's exploration of these behaviors in diverse species, from insects to mammals, underscores the ubiquity of sociobiological principles in the natural world. One central theme of the book is the gene-centered view of evolution. Wilson emphasizes the role of genes as the driving force behind the development of social traits. He introduces the concept of inclusive fitness, wherein individuals can enhance their genetic representation not only through personal reproduction but also by aiding the reproductive success of close relatives. This theory explains seemingly altruistic behaviors, like self-sacrifice, as strategies to promote the survival of shared genes. Moreover, Wilson delves into the evolution of eusociality, a complex form of social organization found in insects such as ants and bees. He argues that eusociality's existence challenges traditional Darwinian explanations and necessitates the integration of genetic relatedness into evolutionary theory. By demonstrating how the sterile castes in these insect societies contribute to the reproductive success of their relatives, Wilson extends the concept of inclusive fitness to explain the remarkable cooperative behaviors observed in eusocial species. Wilson's exploration of human social behavior occupies a substantial portion of the book. He discusses the evolutionary origins of human characteristics, such as kin selection, mating preferences, and parental investment. He postulates that many of these behaviors have evolved as adaptations to the challenges faced by early human societies. Wilson's application of sociobiological principles to human behavior invites readers to consider the deep-seated genetic influences on our social interactions and cultural norms. Critics of sociobiology the new synthesis, have raised ethical concerns about its potential to justify certain social hierarchies and behaviors. Wilson's attempt to connect biology to complex human behaviors has sparked debates about the extent to which genetics can explain cultural phenomena and the risk of oversimplification. However, Wilson himself acknowledges the importance of considering both biological and cultural factors in understanding human behavior. In conclusion, Edward O. Wilson's Sociobiology, The New Synthesis, presents a compelling argument for the integration of biology in social behavior. Through a thorough exploration of genetics, evolution, and behavior across various species, Wilson outlines a framework for understanding the evolutionary origins of social behaviors. His emphasis on inclusive fitness and gene-centered evolution offers a fresh perspective on cooperation, altruism, and even the structure of eusocial societies. While the book has sparked debates about the applicability of sociobiological principles to human behavior, it remains a foundational work in the field, inspiring further research at the intersection of biology and sociology.